Hi everybody, I am that nursing puff and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing dimensional analysis, the basics. So the basics include reading the problem, knowing what it's asking, and setting up the equations. So we're going to be doing some practice ones, so let's jump into that. So our question here is, the nurse is administering medication A, 1.5 milligrams PO. The amount available is medication A, 0.5 milligram tablets. How many tablets should the nurse administer? So sometimes, uh, this is the hardest part, just figuring out what does it want for me, right? So what does this question want from us? It wants to know tablets, okay? So let's put tablets in our answer. And if tablets is going to be in our answer, then it needs to be in the numerator, which is the top part of our fraction, in our equation. So tablets is going to be on top. Now, where do we find any information about this in the problem? Right here. 0.5 milligram tablets. What this is telling me is one tablet equals 0.5 milligrams. So I'm going to put this like this. So that's how we set up the first part. The second part is we want to give 1.5 milligrams, right? So we're going to put 1.5 milligrams at the top. And since there is no other quantifying information, it's just over 1, okay? So 1.5 milligrams over 1. And then what happens is you have milligrams here and milligrams here, so they cancel each other out. And the thing we have left? Tablets, which makes sense because we want to have tablets in our answer. So setting it up like this is going to be the easiest way for you to figure this out. Then the next step, all it does is involve, you know, punching these numbers into your calculator, or this one you can even maybe do in your head, it's three. So three tablets. A note about tablets, pills, capsules, anything like that, it needs to be a normal sounding number. So if you did this and you punched it in your calculator and you got 87, that's not a normal amount of pills for somebody to take, right? That would be, you know, extreme. So that might be an indicator that hmm, maybe that's not right. Or if you did it and you got some weird, you know, fraction of a number, like one eighth of a tablet. We're not going to give one eighth of a tablet. You might give one half, but you're really not going to give, you know, a quarter, a fifth, a sixth, things like that. Those are not realistic numbers. So when you do the math, if you get a number like that, that's a big red flag and an indication that maybe you didn't do it correctly. But three, that's a reasonable amount of tablets, so we're comfortable with this one. It makes sense. Let's jump into another one. Okay, let's do another example. The nurse will administer medication A, one milligram PO at 1900. The amount available is two milligram tablets. How many tablets should the nurse administer? So again, we're looking for tablets, so we're going to put that in our answer. And we're also going to put it in our numerator. And where do we see tablets on here? Two milligram tablets. So two milligrams. And then what do we want to administer for medication A? One milligram. Now sometimes, uh, the problem will give you other numbers that are not relevant. So right here, this is 1900. This is a time, okay? So that's not relevant to our math equation, okay? So just ignore that. We don't need that information at all when it comes to solving this. So we've set it up this way. Our milligrams will cancel. We only have tablets left. And then this is going to be half a tablet. Or if you want to write it as 0.5 tablets, that's fine too. Either way is totally fine. And again, this is an amount that makes sense. Because can we crush a tablet in half? Yes, yes we can. So this would be a reasonable answer. 
Okay, so now this next one is a little bit more challenging, but it's still going to be set up the same exact way. So the nurse is going to administer medication A, 200 milligram PO, divided equally every 12 hours. The amount available is 25 milligram tablets. And then how many tablets should the nurse administer per dose? So this is a little bit different, right? So the first thing is, what are we looking for? We're still looking for tablets in this one. So we're going to put tablets in our answer. And we're going to put tablets in our numerator. Where do we see tablets on here? 25 milligram tablets. So one tablet is the same as 25 milligrams. And then what do we want to give? We want to give 200 milligrams. So 200 milligrams over one. These will cancel out, right? The milligrams will cancel out. We'll still end up with tablets, and then now we get eight. So this is like we've been doing, but now there's a second step to this. Because this is divided equally every 12 hours, so twice a day, right? So we're not going to give eight tablets twice a day for a total of 16. We're going to give eight tablets total in one day. So now we need to divide this by two. So let's put it divided by two equals four tablets per dose because our dose is going to be every 12 hours. So the answer is four. Now let's do some practice ones where we're converting milligrams to milliliters. So our patient is prescribed medication A, 25 milligrams every four hours. The amount available is medication A, 12.5 milligrams per five mLs. How many mLs should the nurse administer? So breaking down the important parts of this question. The first is, what are we looking for? We're looking for mLs, right? So mLs is going to be in our answer. The next part is, how do we get to mLs? So in order to get to our answer, remember we have to have this in our numerator at some point. So where is it in our problem? It's right here, right? The 5 mLs. So according to this, 5 mLs is equivalent to 12.5 milligrams, okay? So that's what we have available. What do we want to give? We want to give 25 milligrams, and that's going to be over 1. The 4 hours in this case is not relevant to this question. It's kind of in there to throw you off. So be able to mark the parts of the question that are the most important. So then our milligrams will cancel, which leaves us with mLs. And then punch it in your calculator, do the math, and you get 10. 10 mLs. Okay, let's do another one. The nurse will administer medication A, 2 milligrams IV bolus. Available is medication A, 10 milligrams per mL. How many mLs should the nurse administer? So we're looking for mLs, right? So we want to have mLs in our answer and therefore also in our numerator. And where do we see this here in the problem? 10 milligrams is equivalent to 1 mL. So we set it up like that. And then how much do we want to give? Two milligrams. So we'll have two milligrams over one. The milligrams will cancel, leaving us only with mLs. And then when you do the math, you get 0.2 mLs. In this video, I've been showing you two-step equations because this is the basics to get you comfortable. I'm going to do a separate video with three-step equations because they're a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. This is going to be an introduction to that. So this will be our final question, and this is going to be a three-step equation. So the nurse is caring for a patient with a prescription for medication A, 125 micrograms PO daily. Available is medication A, 0.25 milligram tablets. 
How many tablets should the nurse administer? So just like before, we're looking for tablets. So we're going to put tablets in our answer. And if it's in our answer, it's got to be in our numerator. And where do we get this information from the problem? Here. So one tablet is the same as 0 0.25 milligrams. Now, the next part of the equation is different because we don't have milligrams here. We have micrograms, right? So we need to do a conversion. So how many milligrams, or how many micrograms, I should say, how many micrograms are in a milligram? One milligram is the same as 1,000 micrograms. So this is the second step. Now the third step is the one you're familiar with that we've been doing in all the other problems. We have to figure out what is our um, available, what we want to administer. So we want to administer 125 micrograms. And we're going to put that over 1. And you'll notice, now that we've set it up this way, our milligrams will cancel. Now our micrograms will also cancel. And we're only left with tablets. And then when you punch it into your calculator, you do the math, you get half a tablet. So this one's a little bit more tricky. It involves you having to know this information. Um, I will do a separate video specifically on these three-step uh, problems with conversions. But I wanted to introduce it here in this basics video. So that was my video on the basics of dimensional analysis. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.